Hey, hello everybody. Welcome back to the channel where we talk about stuff. There's two things that I really like within the cryptocurrency space. They are time and numbers. As both of them, they cannot lie. We have seen what happens over time and the numbers always speak for themselves. It's just more of a logical thing. Many, many years ago, when I first tried to get into the cryptocurrency space, I was actually quite terrified to do so. Why was I terrified to do so? Because nearly everything I saw on the internet about Bitcoin and cryptocurrencies was always negative. Um, I have always held, uh, now, and, and I'll give you a good 10 to 15 years, I've held the belief that a lot of the... Um, traditional financial economic analyzers, analysts, um, usually don't know what they're talking about. And I say that from the perspective of, I've seen the things that people have said about Bitcoin and Ether and XRP over a good six, seven year period. And nearly everything these people from the traditional financial world have said has always been completely untrue. They told us that crypto was only for criminals until we ended up getting a report by either Glassnode or Santiment that basically looked into it. And it was, I think, 1% of 1% of all transactions had to do with something illegal. A lot of people who kept on saying that Bitcoin was a bubble that was waiting to burst. A lot of people who were saying that no one was ever going to use Bitcoin. Bitcoin would never get to a billion dollar market cap. Bitcoin would never get to a trillion dollar market cap. You get the general idea. It was always something tied up in. I have a degree. I went to school. I know exactly how finance works. No one else does. And therefore, I will make this wild prediction about Bitcoin and how it's never going to actually make it. There's actually even a thing you can find it on online. I believe it's called the Bitcoin obituaries. I believe that's what it is, where you can see an article for every single time that someone declared that Bitcoin was done for, never going to be used. And there's a lot of them. It's a lot of them over the course of the last 13 years or so. Time is a fascinating thing because usually... Uh, what these people say online tends to be there forever. Very big article. I think a lot of people glazed over it because maybe it's not the most exciting thing to them. To, I love these kinds of moments within the cryptocurrency space. Someone by the name of Paul Krugman, that is K-R-U-G-M-A-N, had an article uh, on the New York Times back in September of 2011. Yeah, remember how the world was like lightly normal-ish back then. He announced at that time that Bitcoin was a bubble waiting to burst. Everyone was going to feel the pain because everyone didn't understand exactly how finance worked. And therefore, this new thing was going to completely blow up on everyone's face who actually in, in, ended up owning any kind of Bitcoin. The idea of owning Bitcoin at $7 when it was a, a gigantic bubble made absolutely no sense for him. The news is, one, he was clearly completely wrong, but the numbers by it actually is the thing that makes me really, really excited. So, at the time of me making this video, at the time of, Bitcoin's price is wonky. It's kind of all over the place. Maybe you're seeing this in the future. Maybe the price has gone up. Who knows exactly where we are? At the time of me making this video, based on that guy's prediction that Bitcoin would never go up, Bitcoin was going to zero, the idea of Bitcoin being $7 and being called a bubble now doesn't actually give me like a light headache because I'm like, that doesn't make any sense. We see exactly how high Bitcoin's price is. Since that article, Bitcoin's price has increased by 365,000%. Once again, that is 365, comma, 000. It's actually 365,999%, but I, I rounded down just for the sake of 365. We all know that number. Um, yeah, not... You know, um, not that I don't have more to say about this for the sake of me not making a 95 minute video on how a lot of these people um, I, I frankly don't trust and have not trusted for a very long time. These were the people who made sure that I didn't get into the cryptocurrency market years ago when I first heard about it. I remember hearing about Bitcoin in 2010 and 2011 and being like, what is this thing? Every article I saw, every single website was talking about it was a bubble, it's terrible, no one's using it, there's maybe a couple hundred people on the network. 
Imagine how different life would be if we all didn't listen to these people. For those of you who don't remember, uh, and this is no longer in the news at all because I think people have slowly come to realize that maybe he doesn't know exactly what he's talking about. I will never forget Mr. Warren Buffett, who was heavily in the news talking about that cryptocurrencies were garbage. The the, the most famous one that sounds the, the dumbest was he said that Bitcoin was rat poison squared. I don't know if that's like a 1920s kind of thing to say, but I don't know exactly where that's coming from. Uh, but since then, Bitcoin's price has also risen dramatically, and we no longer hear anything about him saying anything negative about the cryptocurrency space, especially since Fidelity and BlackRock have like legitimized the space. Yeah, as always, the article will be in the description below. I really love stuff like this because at some point, there are multiple people right now who are always saying something negative about Bitcoin's price. Like it's, it's not like a, you know, once in a, oh my gosh, the guy's talking negative about Bitcoin. It's literally like once or twice a week. We are going to have another article in 10 years talking about these people where it's like, well, Bitcoin's over a million dollars. Like, you know, what were you talking about back then? Anyway, I'm sure that guy is also quite sad that he didn't buy Bitcoin at $7 when he was talking trash about it. But I think that's just the way that the world works. I do sincerely hope that you have all enjoyed. I do hope you all are having a great day, great morning, great afternoon, a great evening, wherever you are, wherever you might be. I do hope it's absolutely fantastic. Thank you all once again for watching, listening, liking, commenting, and or supporting. And I will most certainly be talking to you all soon. See you.